Hi, okay, so today it's um, your cardio build session, a 28 minute session, and it's the one where I just keep adding a move every time until you end up doing all the moves. Okie dokie, one after the other, obviously. Straight in, not messing about anymore with this silly timer. So we're going to start by marching. I want you to march in place and just roll your shoulders, move about a bit while I tell you what your first move is. So your first move is, again, we've done it all the time, we do it all the time, running on the spot. Basic stuff, jogging, marching, running, sprinting, whatever you want to do. So we're going to get start, we're going to go, everything's for a minute. So get ready, keep marching, four, three, two, one, let's go. This might kill me because I've just done my bike ride, I literally just got off my bike and straight upstairs to do this. I wanted to get it out of the way. So every time the 10 second uh, noise goes, you keep doing what you're doing, or you can just march in place, that's up to you, and I'll show you the next move. Keep that chest up, pump those arms. Again, you don't have to run. I'm not even sprinting, I'm just running. You can go as fast or slow as you need. Fast as you can, slow as you need. So that's your 10 seconds. Your next one is, you're shuffling from side to side. As fast as you can, just shuffling. Yep. So yeah, let's go. Shuffle, shuffle. Keep dip down and shuffle. Light on your feet. Makes a lot of noise, does that? You can really feel that in your legs. Well, you can when you've just done a chuffing 40 mile bike ride. <laughs> I'm not right. But it's what keeps me happy. It's what keeps me healthy. But I don't suggest anybody else does it the way I sometimes do it. Not always. Some days I do very, very little. That's your 10 seconds, so you can just march. Then we're gonna go back to, what we're gonna do next? We're gonna go back to the sprint. Forgot how you did it, so I made up this uh, Process this routine, and I can't even remember what it is. Got my bottle of water down there. I hope you've got one too. You sip it whenever you need it. What's next? Bit of jabbing next. I do like to jab, I put a lot of it in my workouts because it really does work your upper body when you put enough power behind it. Different directions, work your upper body in different ways and your abs as well, good for your abs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step to the side Then you're gonna jab, cross, step, step, jab, cross, step, step, yeah? Straight to the side. Remember, I want power. Can you see what I'm doing? I'll do it from there. I won't actually do the step. Well, I will do. As long as you're stepping, jab into the side. Yeah, like that. Jab, jab, step, step. Jab, jab, step, step. It's just difficult to do it because I don't have a lot of space. Straight to the side, just twist to the side. I don't suppose it really matters which arm you go first, as long as you're doing with both. So that's your 10 seconds. From this, we're gonna go back to your shuffle. Remember, every 10 second timer, you can just stop for 10 seconds. So back to that shuffle. Just shuffling side to side. Keep it slightly dipped, soft knees. Ah. 
Come on, keep going. This really is a tough one for your legs. I'm not quite fully on my feet. I'm mostly on the balls of my feet. So you can stop on that 10 seconds. We're going to go back to that march, jog, run, sprint. The next one we're going to do, we've done V-steps before, we're going to do a V-step, jump back, V-step, jump back. But I will show you in those 10 seconds when you're either doing this or just standing and waiting. Just having that 10 second rest each little, uh, after each little move. So, V-step, jump back, V-step, jump back you don't have to jump back i'm talking in time with the music but i am going to do soft on that jump feet are wide i always try to keep with basic moves nothing complicated every now and again i throw in something oh hello i don't know what happened there i nearly tripped over the actual floor then I'm very, I am very heavy on my feet. Don't care. <laughs> so after this, we're going to go back to that step and it's step, jab, step, step, jab, jab, step, step up faster. Try and speed it up. Remember, we're turning straight to the side. Tuck those elbows in each time. Beautiful. So after this, it's that shuffle again. You can have that 10 seconds doing nothing, just having a bit of a movement. Shuffle. The distance you shuffle doesn't matter. Come on, keep going. Beautiful. So after this, remember, it's your sprint, jog, run, whatever. Next is butt kicks. A bit like hamstring curls, but your legs closer and you're usually going faster. So 
So again, either just stand still and watch. I'm kicking my heels up towards my bum, like that. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, I can feel that. Feel like my thighs. I'm gonna have to hold this because that's another one that really gets it banging against my collarbone. So look, I'm kicking those heels up behind, but my legs are quite close together. You go as fast as you can. You can speed it up anytime you can. There, your next one, remember? I forgot what was one. Oh, your V-step jump back. So, march, do whatever you want. Keep uh, heel kicking. V-step jump back, or V-step step back. You jump straight back in narrow. Jump in and back. Remember, next is your side jab cross. So, come on. There. As fast as you can. You can even add a little leap. If you want a bit more, just a little leap. So, bang, 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 yeah? That's the movement. You might just miss it a little bit because I'm going off camera, maybe. I try and stay more in the middle. I might do a little bounce in the middle with my feet, but no. Anyway, you can see what I'm doing now. And I'm trying to do a little bit of a skip to the side at the same time. Any of those choices, however you do it, is up to you. What's next? You shuffle, your side to side shuffle is next. Whew. Shuffle. Come on, don't give in. You're not travelling, not, not going far. You're not lifting those feet off the floor very much. Just a shuffle. Remember next it's your sprint, march, jog, run, whatever. As always, I've got my chest up, shoulders back and down. I'm pumping my arms.
what's next? Next, I want you down on the floor. I want you to step back, jump back in, up, down. So I want you to jump out and in, stand up. I did it wrong. Hands down, jump your feet back, jump them in. If you can't do that, hands down, step back, step back in, stand. Hands down, step back, step back in, stand. I want you to do it whatever level you can work at. Jump, jump or bring those knees wide. And keep those arms straight. Right, so from this, it's your butt kicks. I'm just gonna march. Go. Bring those heels up as fast as you can, as slow as you need. Whatever you want, your arms. Add them if, in, if you want. Make it a little bit more energetic. Don't have to, but if you can, give it a go. So from here, it's your wide leg. It's your, sorry, V jump back. then remember you're stepping wide jumping back wide or stepping back Side jab soon. You don't have to keep moving during this 10 seconds. Right, here we go. Jab, 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 jab. When I step to the left, I'm jabbing out first with my left hand. When I step to the right, I'm jabbing out first with my right hand. And now I've got that. I'm adding that little bit of a skip. I don't suppose it really does me head in that you can't see me. I just seem to be meeting you halfway through, but I can't really do much about it. So if I do it like that, and then see ya. Oh, I do overthink things, don't I? So from here, it's your shuffle. Shuffle. More jumping next. I'm jumping from one side, facing one direction to the other with quite wide feet. That's after the sprint. That's your next new move, not the next move after this. Remember, stay a bit low. Keep those knees slightly bent.
Right, so remember, I'm facing one way, I've got my legs quite wide, and I'm jumping round. Jumping round, okay? Not easy. You can pause each time. Doesn't matter. As long as it takes to refocus your brain to be able to jump all the way around. Ooh. Land soft. I'm not going fast because I don't need to. This is enough work. And if I went faster, I'd probably fall over. I'd definitely lose the balance, I think. But once you get your confidence, you can speed up a little bit. So this is probably famous last words. Oh, told you, oh, hello. Slow it down, Sue. Brill, brill. Just march. Going back to that hands down, jump out, jump in, or step back, step in. So, hands down, jump or step back and forward. You're reaching down, you're dipping those knees, you're jumping or stepping those feet back and bringing them back forward. When you're jumping back or stepping back, I want your feet quite close. When they're forward, I want them quite wide. I'm warm. I'm very, very warm. So from this, it's back to those book kicks. Crikey, we're nearly done. enough. No, I don't. I love it. Keep going. Remember, you can speed it up if you can. Or you can slow it down if you need. There you go, your next one is your V step jump back. Oh, five minutes left. Remember, your arms can do whatever you want. You can add them in if you want. Bit more calorie burn, bit more cardiovascular training. Get that body fit, healthy, lean. Next, it's your side jabs. Not going to worry about it, I'm just going to do it. Hang on. <laughs> she says. Can you can see what I'm doing, can't you? I'm panicking every single time. I'm getting anxious every time with this one. Get a grip. So bang, bang, step, step, bang, bang, step, step, bang, bang, come on. If you don't know what you're doing now, it's too late anyway. Because this is the last time we're doing them.
Your next is your shuffle. Shuffle. Your last minute, because it's a 28 minute thing, call it a half an hour. You know what I'm like, I like to give you a couple of minutes, one or two minutes here and there. The last minute, we're just gonna, and then are we? I'll shut up and say no more. Anyway, we've got one more move after this, then you need to cool down. Because my time it messes my head up. I don't always know what it's telling me. It seems obvious, but you, you, you'd think. So, sprint, march, jog, whatever. Yeah, now I know what's going on. So last minute, we're just gonna do a very quick cool down. But a minute isn't long enough for a proper cool down. I'm just bringing it down during the workout. Enough for you to then go and do a proper cool down. Do a bit of stretching bit of marching, whatever, bring your heart rate properly down before you go off and do whatever else you're doing today. <sighs> Nearly there, come on. side quite quickly but no real intensity we're just stepping and tapping circle those arms bring them either way Kick, low, while you're kicking, pulse your arms back, palms forward, thumbs up. March, change that position so your thumbs are down, your palms are back. Now, now you're done. Now I want a proper cool down. I want you to march, hamstring curl, heel dig, calf set back, calf stretch, whatever you want to do, take as long as you need. Seriously. So Fitness by Susie, that was your cardio for today. Well done. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye for now.